What's up guys? My name is Emily. We've got Amanda driving. Hi guys. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Today it's currently pouring. You can clearly see that. Look at this rain. So much rain. Anyways, we are on our way to go and pick up a 65 inch Mahi Mahi fish mount. That is bigger, it's taller than me. That's insane. It's taller than me too. Taller, wait, we're the, we're, Amanda's a little shorter, a little bit. Just the hair. But before we go pick up this fish mount from Gray's Taxidermy, we are going to put a little clip here for you guys to watch how this fish was caught. It was caught a long time ago. How many years ago? We caught this fish in Costa Rica two years ago. It was an epic trip. I mean, this fish was massive. It bottomed out a 50 pound scale. It actually broke the 50 pound scale. The scale like broke, like popped. And it was just such a cool trip. So we got the final length, which was 65 inches. And finally we were like, I really want to mount this fish. This fish means so much to me. That was actually two years ago at the time. It was one of like the first like major memories in my head of a fish that I had completely caught on my own, like dropping my bait back, not backlashing, like doing it all like to the right. nitty gritty detail. So we are dead bait trolling for sailfish in Costa Rica with Costa sunglasses. And it's a skill to learn how to drop baits back with when you're dead bait fishing because if that fish takes it and you don't do it the right way, the right timing, you will get a huge bird's nest on your reel. And that was kind of when a man and I were, I guess you could say first really learning how to do that. Would you say so? It was one of our first times yeah. sail fishing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this was way back when in the world of the Gale Force Swim. Three years ago now. It might have been three years ago. It was a while ago. But either way, the sail the sailfish. The Mahi was so big, we it broke a fifty pound scale and we didn't have a bigger scale, so we never got the official weight. But I'm thinking this thing was upwards of seventy pounds and it was literally an inch bigger than us. So check out these clips and then we'll see you with the mouth. Got it inside. Look at that. How exciting it is! How huge it is. You Wait, guys. is it even gonna fit on this wall behind you? We're going to make it fit on this wall. This fish has to go on this wall. Yep. Hey, buddy. Hi, Roby. Hey, you got here. <laughs> what do you think of the fish mount? 
Hmm? You need to unscrew. Look at the size of it. Wow. Hey. Lay down next to it. I'm really sore. We did like day. You <laughs> know. It's supposed to be an inch, two inches bigger than me. Are my feet lined up with the bottom? Um, yeah, actually, kind of. With the bottom fin right here, if you look here. It's, oh, it's not straight. It's, yeah, it's definitely not. It's curving. There we go. It's curving. So, for reference, guys. <laughs> We need to unscrew our mahi, guys, and just so you know, we do need to get it on the wall, obviously. But if you look at our mahi, see how the head is blue right here? That's specifically a custom paint job for us because we sent them a picture of our fish and they replicated it. And that's what they do, and you can have that done with your fish too. They will look at your picture and they will make your fish match. What's cool about these fish mounts is that they are fiberglass replicas. So basically the way it works is you get a fish that you catch, right? And it's huge and you want to keep a huge, small, whatever. You want to keep your really cool fish. And you take a picture, you take a measurement, and you can either catch and release it, like if it's a sailfish, or if it's a really big mahi and you want to take it back and fillet it, you have this picture and this measurement and you send it into Gray's Taxidermy and they will make a replica of it because they have molds of all these different sizes of all these different species versus how it used to be when you would catch a fish, you would literally bring in the actual fish and they would use the fish for the mouth. But nowadays, you don't have to do that. It's all fiberglass replicas. And I think it's really neat the way they do it, how they hand paint it to match your fish. Also a little fun fact guys, Amanda and I are reps for Grace Taxidermy. So if anybody has a really cool fish that they've caught in the past and they wanna get it mounted, definitely let us know. We can get you hooked up and set up so you have a really cool fish on your wall. Super easy to hang fish mounts. We just got this little wall hanger at Home Depot. Picture hanging set. So guys, come look at and the we're back. We're gonna bottle these, this bottom left one, the 100 pound. Check and out the back. this is what the back looks upside down. There you go. All their mounts come, they come with like this, this ready to go. So all you gotta do is take one of these, stick it on the wall, you're good to and go. Up your fish goes. Check it out, guys. Mahi fish mount. It's like it was made for that wall. Well, it, it, the wall's a little small. It is a little small. But this was the best wall in our apartment that everybody could stare at it for. But, wait, there's more. These flyers. We got flyers. So obviously we don't have any more wall, but what we're gonna do. Well, usually what you would do is if you had flyers, you would put them like right here and here and here. But we're gonna put three flyers right above this door. Oh, I thought they should go in this corner. No, I want to go by the door. I want them in this corner. Okay, we are going to discuss how we want these flyers. Then we're gonna hang them on the wall. The other, show you guys. the other option you could do is if you like knew you had like this is an apartment for us, so we weren't gonna design a fish box specifically for this wall. But if you knew you had a certain wall, you could flip your tell them ahead of That's time that true. you want your fish to face the other way, and the flyers could have gone perfectly on this wall. How cute it is! But I think I would angle with this one. Up a little bit? Yeah, like... In there? Yeah. I think it looks good. What do you think? Yeah, that totally looks good. That looks really cute. Do you like it? I love it. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you guys like it? Because I know I like it. It fits perfectly on the wall. And then we got our little flyers running away. Pew, pew. <laughs> and the future idea, not really sure, we haven't talked about it that much yet, but we're thinking about taking Emily's, how many pounds, 24? 27? 24. Oh, 24? No, 24 pound Emily's 24 pound black pin tuna and like we'll be putting on this wall and like extending it. Making it like a whole pelagic Maybe thing. Maybe just be like, because that's my 
my mahi, and now Emily needs a fish. I need a fish here. Her wall. Because yeah. I wanted to put that in my bedroom, and she was like, no, this is going in the living room. Yeah, so we can make a whole pelagic fishery scene. We felt like having three flyers over this door would have looked kind of unbalanced. Right. So I think we're going to wait until maybe we have a whole scene here to add more flyers. So but, Amanda got a special little flyer. Excuse the mess, guys. Well, we went to Home Depot. We went to Home Depot. And we had to pull out all of our, like, drills and everything. Tools. Tools. So we would line up with my room. <laughs> I got one little flyer. That, that, I think that little flyer makes me just as happy as that whole Big set. Big fish mount. I would agree so with that. so excited, guys. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions on the fish mounts, let us know. Because... Uh, we can help get you guys one if you want one, if you have an old fish memory. Um, what else? Make sure you follow Gale Force Twins, Twins on Facebook, Facebook Instagram, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube.